And I'm psychic medium Catherine Glass. And we have such an exciting show today. Yes. And first of all, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching us every Tuesday at 9.30. And also faithful fans. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> and today we are not going to disappoint you. We had an animal communicator, Karen Daly, right. here, and it was such a big hit. And we have it, another one. Right, and it's up on YouTube, and lots of people are watching it, but then coming into our path, Ashley Rod Rodson, Rodson from Rhode, Rhode Island. Island. Is yeah. here, right? Yeah, and she's going to talk about her gift. And she realized she communicates with animals only recently. She's been psychic her whole life mm -hmm. and intuitive. Yeah, and so I asked her if she would do a reading on my cat. My cat's alive, but my cat's a complainer, but a loving complainer. So we want to know what the heck's going on. And really, you need to this watch. This is going to be cool because it it's going to cool. be live right in front of you, happening in the moment, and right. we're going to get the message from your baby. What's going on? Yeah, I know. Yeah. He's so cute. We can't bring him here because he'd go nuts, but we have pictures of him, right? Yeah. And she'll be able to yeah. do. And she'll also do an angel card demonstration, so you'll see yeah. how her skill of being a tarot card, right? Yes, and I get to get read today, which is really fun. <laughs> and me too. She'll just say a little <laughs> a little thing so you can see actually what it is. Yeah. And then, of course, every show we have our psychic challenge, right. and so we'll have three objects that you will be able to pick. Catherine will send the message out. And you participate and develop your own psychic ability. Right. Yeah. And then the psychic tips. Psychic tips. We have some good psychic tips that when you're on the beach or in nature how you can just get rid of all this negativity that possibly could be around you right yeah so we're going to do that and we couldn't do it without our sponsors healing essence, healing center. essence center in west concord massachusetts for holistic healing and well-being all body mind and soul that's with jonathan glass and myself Catherine glass you can find us on the web that is so great. And then also Julio's Liquor, Spirit, Spirit Meets Spirit. Spirit. We love Julio's <laughs> right from the beginning. He's been sponsoring local television it's and awesome. our show. We They're really are people. grateful. Mm -hmm. Yep. And also YMCA, and they're celebrating 150 years. Did you know the first Y in the Worcester area was when Abraham Lincoln was a president? I did not know that. Yep. And that's wow. how long they've been here helping the community that's and different amazing. programs and yep. so much more. So that thanks. And of course, um, Christian that? Ray. Huh? with Sal um, Akuri at Akuri Moda and they're two like Hollywood style stylists. Fancy salon, nice yes, salon. Yes, at the fashionable west side of Worcester. And you're looking your best. I know. Mm -hmm. Great. So I can't wait to get in Commerce Bank. Oh, 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 Don't Commerce. How bank. can we forget Commerce Bank? Our bank, our bank that's local but is a big bank too from $20,000 to $2 million. Anything you can do anything with them. So and thank you so much for also supporting local television. Yes. And We're now grateful. we need to get into our show. Let's bring Ashley on. Yes, let's do it. She's adorable. Hi, Hi Ashley. Hi. <laughs> Thanks for joining us today. <laughs> Thank you for we having me. We just love having you here. Yes. <laughs> Thanks. You're so much fun, right? Yeah. To meet new people and, yep. and this platform. Know who's in our area, the great healers and, and gifted people that are in our community. Mm -hmm. So tell us, how did you find out you were gifted? I mean, how did it happen? Well, I've always loved animals. I've always felt more comfortable being with animals. Than people. Yeah. Which is often the case with sensitives. Yes. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I've always um, known certain things about them. If I go to someone's house, no, I shouldn't touch them a certain way or, or whatnot. Or, um, so Do they come right up to you, the animals? Can they yeah. sense your energy and know that you're like yeah. safe or that you understand them? They do. I have had one animal though while doing Reiki on it that it was a little too sensitive and the Reiki was a little too much for it. Mm -hmm. And she actually backed away from me and was like, I need my space. Wow. So, yeah, so I never know what's going to happen. But um, yeah, ever since I was a kid, I've always loved animals. And a few years ago when I got tuned to Reiki, that's when my hearing suddenly popped up. So my clear audience mm -hmm. and now my clairsentience is really, really, really strong. Um, when I looked at your cat's picture a little while ago, I started feeling some sensations. Wow. So I can't wait to tell you about that. Oh, we're going to do that <laughs> because we have a lot of things we're going to do with you. Because okay. the reason we have this show is to open the spiritual world to the world. That's and it's right. great to have different guests. Mm -hmm. And then Catherine, who is the award-winning psychic medium, is so skilled. And it's great for everybody to get to know her. But we also like to get to know the others in the world Absolutely. like you. Because there's so many people. And it demystifies it for the 
public at large to understand. Right. It's yeah. A, now, I have friends thing. in New York, when I tell them, told them we're producing this show, they said, please have someone who communicates with animals. And it's amazing how gifted people like you have come on. And people love their pets. They do. I mean, I love my pets, too. Mm -hmm. But they can't speak. You know, they can't speak like we do. So it's great to have someone like you helping communicate. It now, is. do you communicate with pets who have passed? Yes, I do. Um, and uh, recently, if this hasn't happened before, I've started getting glimpses as I go to sleep and I'm kind of in a meditative state. Mm -hmm. I'll start to see not exactly um, the way an animal would look if you were to give me a picture, but um, like let's say an animal was light colored, um, maybe some spots on it. Mm -hmm. When I'm meditating and whatnot, I would see it with like just the spots on it, but they would be light colored. You get spots. symbols. So, I get so you symbols. know it's a spotted cat, or the cat name yeah. might be spot too. That happens. Yeah. <laughs> Spirit delivers information so. in really unique and unusual ways, and yeah. usually as you develop your abilities, they're specific to you. They become symbols for yes. you. And I'm still understand. learning. So this is, yeah, and I have a lot of great people that I'm surrounded by who are helping me and whatnot, Wonderful. but the more I do this, the more. Oh yeah, more it's a muscle. I get. It's you amazing. know, I love it's bringing longer. this to the regular person or someone who feels like they have a sixth sense and mm -hmm. maybe yeah. isn't as gifted as you are, but we learn about everything. I mean, I never want to stop learning about life. I never want to stop learning yeah. about wisdom. I never want to stop learning about my marketing. I never want to stop learning. So saying something like that is is a normal thing to want to continue growing. Doctors need yeah. to do continuing Con education. Right. Mm -hmm. And you also, know. for the viewers to see the people who are taking their life path this direction, it's also affirming to, to make everyone understand that to, to connect with that intuition and follow it, that's why we're here. That's why we do Absolutely. What we do. Mm -hmm. Opening the spiritual and You can the talk world. to your animals. You can trust that gut feeling you have yeah. right? about your cat. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, the other or thing dog. that you said is that how do the animals communicate through you? I mean, what. Do you what hear method? words? Do they. I do. I hear words. Um, I, I feel things. Um, I'll feel a bodily ailment, a feeling, mm -hmm. um, a knowing. It, uh, they'll show me images. Um, I did a reading uh, a couple of weeks ago and I saw this dog that had passed away running around in the summertime in the yard with the wa hose spraying with the water and you know a little girl with her hula hoop and running around and mm -hmm. it was I saw I saw that image so clearly and it was so beautiful because the little girl said that she liked to play outside mm -hmm. with Aww. her dog like yeah That's so it's it was really beautiful do yeah. you Ashley um, Obviously, if you have psychic and mediumistic ability, you can work with people too. Do you do you find that you have a preference? Like one comes in naturally stronger for you? <laughs> I think I've just always been more in tune to animals. Mm -hmm. This this was what I'm this is what I'm supposed to do. That's yeah. great. Um, I I did read a woman. I believe she's in New York. She sent me a picture of her dog, and I didn't realize her husband was deceased as well, and he was in the picture with the dog. All of a sudden, I started hearing all of this mumbo jumbo, and I felt like a boisterous presence was around, and mm -hmm. he was so excited. And it was her husband. Uncles were coming through. Yeah, <laughs> cousins were coming door. through. And I, I emailed her. I said, "Um, uh, I'm gonna tell you what I just got. Would you like me to continue? Because this is supposed to be for the animals." Yeah. And it was. She was very, very happy. Very, That's very great. Thrilled. So once I open it, spirit loves that. Yes. When you open the door. Yeah. And then part of the, the 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 experience is to learn how to manage all those and define who's who. That's, yes. that's what I find anyway is one yeah. of the biggest yeah. challenges is who, who do we got here? You know? Yeah. Now let's demonstrate. Okay. So you do okay. angel reading. I was yes. told that you do angel cards. So yes. show, show the, let's pick up the, th this is her okay. angel card and this, just to show you that um, psychic mediums use different types of um, cards. Mm -hmm. Lots it's, of different oracle decks. Right, These are yes. all Doreen virtues. They're great. So you like yeah. to use angel cards, right? I do. I do have a Hanson Roberts tarot card deck that actually my mom got for me when I was about 12 or 13, so I've always enjoyed this type of stuff. But it's cool. yeah, you picked so a mama who supports yeah. it. What we did was we, we shuffled and picked a card, so just yeah. to save time, Catherine did the same thing, right? Yeah. We just in yep. shuffle. We, we picked three. a card and we both picked this card. I picked this, this card. Yeah, I picked this. Can we just show it? Okay, and I that's picked, the, hmm. what is it? I pick eight of water, that's okay, the elements. And I, I picked the emperor, the arch, archangel Michael. Archangel Michael. Cool. Okay, so, okay. So what so, am I going through? So let's right do now. a little short reading because we <laughs> want to go into the cat reading. Okay, too. yes. Okay. So um, I mean, you can pick one card. You can do a five card spread. You mm -hmm. could do a ten card spread. Whatever it is, the amount of time that you have is appropriate. But since we um, don't have too much time, so Catherine, you chose the eight of water, 
And it says the desire to move on, search for something more meaning, meaningful, spiritual, and emotional growth. Mm -hmm. So what I, I already forget what I got. <laughs> it just happens so fast. Um, so I, when I get this card, I have a feeling of there was a struggle in the past and now it's, it's like you're, you're wading through the water and you're rising up to the top. So that true. was the image that I just got. Very, um, very good, Ashley. It's absolutely true. I won't go into too much specifics with you because we're on air, but yes, that that's what's happening. And I'll I pick her up afterwards. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's like the side. light at the end of the tunnel. That's what I just heard. Thank you. That's so great. that's just a little a great, little great. snippet. That's nice. Okay. And the Emperor. Yes, the Emperor card. The Emperor. Um, so that's Archangel Michael, and I love mm -hmm. him because um, he keeps you safe. He protects. Um, I always have him take care of my animals when I leave the house, when I go to work. So with this, it says organization and logic, structure and discipline, leadership. Um, yeah, so I'm hearing something about um, like the battle's over and you're strong and I feel you standing tall. So that's what I got. I, I felt a sense of you just being like a powerful warrior and just like, I just saw you kind of like, dangling your sword like yeah I got that <laughs> it's and, all done and, 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 and you know what you know, throwing the sword away yeah no more battles yeah that's right? right that's so great that, so that's just what I got and it was it was see and it it um coincided with your personality yeah because it you're just so fun and so that was you kind of being like a little like she's fun but she's it. also really smart and yeah. very focused when she yes, needs to be she's, exactly she's a good, a I good leader I paid her to say that no she's a good leader. <laughs> all right so now let's do the reading yeah, okay okay okay. The okay 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 so my cat we call him Pepe Le Pew because he looks like that cartoon <laughs> <like> character <laughs> maybe that's his issue Pepe. we're calling him Pepe Le Pew but what happened is my son found him in a tree in downtown Worcester, and he was crying, crying, crying. He was about six months old, and he and his girlfriend brought him home and said, Mom, can we adopt him? And he just fell into our arms, and he became part of the family. Do you have was, a picture? Can you show the picture? Yeah, let's show the picture. This now is you Peppy. tune in to him. Okay. Now he's so loving. He's a Persian. It's wonderful. And what he does is when you walk in, he's crying, 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 crying. And I believe he just wants attention. So once you pick him up, he's rubbing his head. Mm -hmm. When I sit down, he's always next to me because he loves the warmth of our body. She's tuning in. And then what he does is you'll see one of the pictures where he's just on his back looking at you in such a trusting mm -hmm. way. Mm -hmm. I mean, he just like opens up his arms and legs for you. It's so Are you ready to read? So ready. why is he crying? And why is he also, I know this happens with a lot of people who have cats. He's starting to pee around the house Ooh, a lot. That's <laughs> not fun. So what I got was um, I heard past life. And that doesn't necessarily mean, um, you know, another incarnation on this earth. I think it has to do with him being left alone in that tree, struggling, feeling lonely and abandoned. So he's kind of imprinted on you guys. You're his people, you're his family, you're his home. And he's just, he's in love with you guys. He's basically Aww. obsessed with you. And he needs that, he has that separation anxiety because I can feel it now in my heart, um, like a pressure in my chest as well. Um, Is he home alone a lot? Did well, you guys go out the day? Yeah, yeah, we do. Yeah, and. But he's got another cat with him. Well, maybe. He, he just said that's not good maybe enough. <laughs> he said that's not good enough. Or maybe it's aggravating him. Anyway, he go said ahead. That? Uh, yeah. <laughs> He's funny. Um, so with the peeing in the house, I heard resentment. Mm -hmm. So that's also, you know, they're leaving me. I just want to be with them. And what about the other cat? Does he resent the oh, other, other cat? cat it's Lieutenant Frost because he's he all white. No, cat? he said no. He's no, fine. No, they're, they're great. They hug he's each fine. other. Okay. Yeah. He said, I just love my people. I love my people. What about one of those that. pheromone things that you plug into the wall? Would that calm him down? Oh, that's a good idea. I, I didn't even know that. Because that does help with the... You know about He's that? being stubborn. He's, <laughs> that's not good enough, Ashley. That is not good enough. Oh, I can't, we can't take him to work. What can we do? He needs to understand. When oh, you're home, you need to hold him. And oh, be I hold him. him so much, and I tell everybody to do that as well. Also, what I tell people, I'm sure you do this, but one way that people can start is just talk to your pets like you would you're a baby, okay. a newborn you baby, know and stuff like more. that. You're right. Yep. Yeah. And also, it, you're sure it's him be peeing and not the other oh, one? Oh, no, we watch him do it. <laughs> He like does it in front of <laughs> in us. In your face. He'll go on the bedspread and do it. Okay, yeah, we're gonna do our know. psychic challenge. Okay, we're gonna, yeah. so we're gonna challenge. involve you. Okay, okay. no, 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 okay. psychic challenge. Okay, um, thank you, Ashley. Challenge. You're of so course. wonderful. And the of way course. you can get a hold of her, it's it's been showing up, Ashley. You know, 
as you're talking. At your email address. Yep. yep. And you can email us at readings at sixcentsandbeyond.com and we'll connect you with Ashley as well. Yeah. And you're on Facebook, right? I am. I'm on um, facebook.com slash arhealingri. She's absolutely a natural. You're a really oh, you're good so reader. wonderful. Thank it's great. you. Okay, so now the Psychic Challenge, we love finishing okay. this segment with this now. Can you just get it close to us so everybody's like got the visual and show, show the blue. This is a glass. Wow. It's actually a curb marker they can use for decorations in your landscaping. This pretty little mask. This is beautiful. from Italy. That's great. It's and beautiful. this is not from Italy, but it's another mask that you can wear. Okay. okay I'm so gonna, Catherine's I'm going one. to send and you just tune in. Now start tuning in right now. We don't have any idea what she's picking, so we're going to pick up on it also. Try so to see if one of them is kind of brighter and glowing as I'm sending the image of too. it. That's a good yeah. Do you see an aura of energy around it in your mind's eye? It doesn't have to be literal. Okay, I've got it. Okay, me too. You guys tune in at home and we'll be back and we'll see what you picked. Yep. What Thanks, picked. Ashley. Thank you so much. Don't go away. The on-air mm -hmm. reading's coming up. Let's make a soul connection. Welcome back, and this is the segment of the show where I'm going to do a quick, short psychic reading for our lovely guest, Brian, we have today. Brian, thank you for volunteering to be on our show. Thank you for having me. And um, so I'm just going to kind of tune in, and you, you didn't really have any specific questions, so I'm just going to tune in and, um, and talk about what Spirit wants you to know right now at this point in your life. So as I'm sitting with, he, with you here, Brian, and I'm tuning into your energy, I, I see a lot of, uh, like a kaleidoscope of aspects of your nature. Um, I know that you have a lot of depth, uh, sensitivity, but you're also very um, grounded in your body. You're very present. Um, and that tells me that you're a pretty balanced person. You don't get freaked out or do a lot of drama about things that come up in life, you kind of take it as it comes. I would think that you are sort of the anchor of your family. Um, I know that we've talked a little bit and you have two children mm -hmm. and they are in their teen years now, is that right? Um, one is a preteen and one is a teen? Correct. Okay. Yeah. And we have a boy and a girl? Correct. Okay. And also I see a lot of balance in the family, a lot of closeness and harmony within your family. Um, and would you understand your dad he keeps showing up in your energy field, being he's here on earth, uh, being significant in your life. Either there's an issue up with your dad or there's a real closeness because I just get him really strong around you, having been an influence on you very strongly. Is it in the positive or is there an issue? Um, there was some um, heartbreak or hurt. There was some heartbreak and hurt. Some s separation between there you. There was. And that's healing or healing? It is. It's healing right now and he's actually coming. Um, that's to visit us fabulous. next week. That's why he's lighting up in your field because yes. he's, he's in your auric yep. field, he's on your mind, you're on his mind, you're both kind of wondering how it's going to go. Mm -hmm. um, this is a really wonderful thing and Spirit wants you to know about that particular meeting and situation that you need to stay this balanced, grounded person that you are naturally. Stay calm, be patient, mm -hmm. and uh, don't have too many preconceived expectations about how it's going to go, try to stay really in the moment with him because that's how you're going to be able to fully appreciate who this person is, mm -hmm. who this soul is. Remember that your dad is a soul on a journey just like you, not just your dad, okay? That'll give you a broader perspective of who he is and the issues he's had in the past and the learnings that he has gone through and that you're going through and it'll make you guys have a better harmonious connection on a deeper level, mm -hmm. which will actually weave the relationship tighter from here forward. Okay. Um, it's really important that he's here and back on the scene. I'm getting something about connection, especially to your children. They need to know him. Mm -hmm. There's something important about him reconnecting with the family and your children. Yeah, they don't really, he lives in the other part of the country in the Midwest, so right. they don't really have a, a good relationship with him based on the distance. Right. So, um, so this is an opportunity, if he can slow down and be present enough to to really absorb them and, and let them understand that they have a grandfather and because our lineage is important. You know, we have aspects of our soul family within each of us. Mm -hmm. And so your children will have an opportunity to see that reflected in him, a little bit of, you know, a feeling of roots and stability. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like your wife is very strong. She's a strong woman. She's bubbly. She's got a lot of energy. She's very smart. Uh, also, is she very organized? Does she to like a order? To a certain extent, yes. And she is a very strong person. She has a very strong personality. Yeah, 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 yeah. And she does things her way, and that's good. But shes I feel like she really has a very strong intuitive sense also about making choices, like what's going to be the best outcome. 
for the family or in a decision with one of your children. She does. Um, are you the strict one, the disciplinarian in the I'm family? I'm afraid so, yeah. yes. Yeah. I'm afraid yeah. so. Yeah, that's a drag for one of your kids. Yeah. But, <laughs> but I feel like it's the daughter. But she's understanding because she's like your wife. She's really, she doesn't like to have too much authority telling her what to do. However, she is absorbing and learning from you deep stability. Mm -hmm. And that you can trust, Brian, is mm -hmm. going to carry her into her life. Because she has a strong father who holds the line for her, especially in her teenage years, she'll have something to push up against and she'll know that she's safe. Mm -hmm. And that'll make her uh, think twice and make wise decisions once you release her. Mm -hmm. So you can relax. Mm -hmm. She's going to be awesome. I hope so. <laughs> yeah. um, going to be very successful. Uh -huh. I feel like your son is the more sensitive of the two. Do you understand that? Yes. Sensitive nature, yeah. maybe more artistic or internal, loves music. Um, maybe more shy than your daughter and um, he's going to be a little later in maturing and developing but he's going to be fine as well. Those are all right on the money. He is very artistic. He does like to draw. He does best in art class. Yeah. Um, he is younger and um, he is very shy. Um, That's going to come later. He'll mm. get his feet and his wings. Um, again, you guys are great parents. Mm. Roots and wings we like to say. You know, Give them roots and wings. Uh -huh. Is there anything you want to ask me before we wind up? Um, no, I, I don't think so. I think you pretty much hit everything on the uh, on the head. I think I'm you're going to take some trips. You're going to travel, family vacation time um, coming up, and have a blast. Have a really good summer. Don't overwork. Be there with your family as much as you can. Yeah, it's important because it's going to get really busy in the fall. Really busy. Yeah, we actually are uh, developing a new property, um, so it, ha it actually is going to be very busy come mm. mid-fall. Make time for fall. your family. Weekends, bonding, really important because mm -hmm. they fly before you know it. Yeah, agreed. Yeah. Agreed. Thank you, Brian. Thanks for Thank being you. on our show Thank today. you for having me. And if you want to reach me, you can do that outside of here if you want a longer reading or anything awesome. like that. Thank you. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you. Thanks for coming on. And that's our reading, and we'll be back with our Psychic Challenge and Psychic Tips. Don't go away. Welcome back, and guess what? It's us. <laughs> it's us. <laughs> Catherine, that reading was so fantastic with Brian. It's Thank amazing. You. I got chills all over my entire body by the things <laughs> you were picking up on him. Thank you. It was okay, great. Okay, psychic challenge. Psychic okay, challenge. Okay, psychic okay, challenge. Okay, the three items were this beautiful round curb marker that's aqua, and this beautiful um, mask, mask from, Venice. from Venice, and this other mask that I was wearing. It. All right, so Catherine, da 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 da. Which one was it? Catherine the Pitt. blue Kerr glowy marker. thing <laughs> the curve <Kerr laughs> marker so next time let's see if you will get it if you didn't get it this time and if you did congratulations yep. you're getting your sixth sense tuned up always go uh, with your first your first hit right so this was great okay now psychic challenge so psychic tips Christina is not a psychic tip for us today which is fascinating and I really liked it so I said let's do it and it's quick, so we all love being at the beach or in nature. It's summer, so, it's summer now. Right? right, and I learned this. I learned this from other psychics and intuitives. So whenever we feel like we're burdened with something, well, you don't have to be, or you feel like, on, on, like people don't appreciate you, whatever that ne negativity is, the laws of attraction say that if you manifest that, you, it, it, it appears that way. So right. the way to get rid of it is the following. So easy, go to the beach, go to the shore, Dig a little hole with your foot, no, nothing big, and then visualize that you're throwing all the negativity, everything, lack, like fear, lack of fear, fatigue, worries, judgment of right, yourself, like hate, or thinking like you're too fat, or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Just throw it in there. Just throw it all in. Take into your time the sand. into into that little hole that you made, and then after you've done that, like kind of cover it up and let and watch the tide take it out. Mm -hmm. Now you're not done. What you should do next is then throw up into the universe the things you want, abundance, love, right. beauty, whatever, right, whatever. Because when you heal or clear something out, you mm -hmm. always want to fill that space with, right. with positive light, energy, thought, frequencies. Yeah. So that's it, and thank you so much for watching uh, another wonderful show. Have a wonderful summer, and we're here every Tuesday night at 9.30, and if you want a reading, readings at sixcentsandbeyond.com, and thank you to our sponsors, Julio's Liquors. Healing Essence Center. And Commerce Bank, TJ Woods Insurance, YMCA, and Christian Ray. Thank you so much. Have a great summer. Keep yourself tuned in, Six Cents and Beyond. Yep. Opening, Opening the, the spirit, spirit world to, to the, the world. world. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Let's make a soul action